Ministers in Singapore are paid a clean wage, realistic, competitive, but clean wage. They don't get perks. There's no official house to live in. You get a salary. It's for you to judge what you need it for, for your lives. Save it, give it away, spend it, put it in a house, travel, whatever. Therefore, where ministers decide to live, whether they want to rent, whether they want to buy, these are personal choices. And thus I see nothing wrong with ministers renting properties from SLA, or for that matter from a private landlord, provided it's properly done and all procedures are followed. 